what is up youtube it's hometown opens we are back for another fun opening uh you've seen us do a couple of cool openings already and we want to do our best to continue to open up some fun stuff today I we have got, afr i got so excited when you said welcome back to hometown openings like this is our third one we've done and i'm still getting giddy this is great <laughs> we've got afr uh, a set that both of us really love dungeons and dragons of course mm -hmm. you have more experience in the dungeons and dragons world than i do whoop, whoop. but the fun part of this is neither of us have opened a bundle for this set uh, we both opened collector's boosters we've opened set boosters more than we probably should have um i've opened up fat packs but yeah. never a bundle <laughs> um uh, we, we, I think one of the reasons that spawned us wanting to open one of these was a week or so ago, our friend showed up to our usual commander night with oversized dungeon cards. We did not realize those were a thing, but they do come in this bundle. So we're we are like, really excited about exist? that. In fact, I saw them peeking out right here. Oh, look at it. Look at those oversized bundle cards, or oversized dungeon cards. So, Mikey, let's open up. No decks to open up this time. We just got packs. So let's exactly rock into it. it dude. I'm getting, we got I'm our sorry. filler junk. <laughs> filler? Oh, that's literally nothing. It is. It's uh, again, nothing. never open up a Now, uh, we do have a pretty uh, what is going on here? paper here. Bark on a new quest, but we do have oh, it has Zan uh, Xanathar, Xanathar and his, and his goldfish. Uh, I think the really fun thing here is, so he's goldfishing. He's playing against his goldfish. And you see the scoreboard here. He's won 10 times against his goldfish already. Oh my gosh. So I love that. I love the little art there. Uh, the cool thing about bundles, if you guys have never opened one before, if you take it apart, there is art. So here you go. Here's the art on the inside of the bundle. Hey, if you're a D&D player, boom, dungeon screen. Let's go. There you go. The inside there. Play magic, we have play dungeon our pretty <laughs> box. Uh, I do love these boxes. They always do a very good job at putting some cool art on there. It's but all angly and whatnot. Let's open her up. We have a filler. Oh, look at this. Actually, keep that in there. We have a pretty oversized orange dice. That's red, bro. You're colorblind. Uh, it's pretty orange to me. All right, when your wife gets home, we're gonna ask her. We're gonna ask her. And I'm gonna feel dumb. Uh, hopefully not. We've got 10 packs each draft of AFR. I ain't worried about them packs. I'm more worried about these cards right here. And Woo! some Landy Lands with that very Pringled treasure chest. Oh, it is. When you... I tell you that these lands are Pringled, viewers, can you see this? <laughs> Holy. Uh, are those more lands? Yeah, they're foil. Oh! I, oh I, 20 I, foil, 20 regular. We got our treasure chest and all that. It works better when you actually read what comes in the box, huh? It does, doesn't it? Uh, I guess I'll sleeve my treasure chest as well. Actually, a good card going in the teamer dice rolling when we get there that. There we go. When we get that our teamer three dice rolling oversized commander. dungeons. I do love seeing those. Those are cool. Um, treasure chest, fun little card. Uh, I'd like to use it more, but it definitely doesn't fit into any of the strategies that I'm trying to play. Okay, quick, quick aside for the viewer. These guys right here, these little dividers you get inside the bundles, will perfectly hold a 100-card sleeved commander deck. Not double-sleeved, single-sleeved. So if you're looking for something in your, you know, if you, you want to, you can put two decks in here if you want. Uh, you can use that to kind of keep your deck together. Something I definitely used in the past before I bought my deck boxes. Look at that. Hometown Commander. But, a show... Here for you. Ten packs of uh, AFR. Mine are all Drizzit. Is your, do you have any other pack arts? See if I do, I'm gonna laugh. No. Okay. Uh, so just that's it. Gotta <laughs> rip them and go, baby. Rip it, roll it. So what are we it. looking for in AFR? Uh, uh, any of the lands, of course, the yeah. showcase lands. Any uh, showcase card in general. We got the dragons, right? Yeah. The red, these uncommon dragons, and the rare dragons. Uh, we've got our favorite of the dragons, Old Nava. <laughs> he the good one. That's for sure. But let's just rock through these. We'll just we'll just go over there. There we go. We got our first showcase. Oh, Basilisk. Underdark Basilisk. Got my boy Owlbear. I got a Mimic, uh, which makes me happy. I love love the Mimics. We what got our first white dragon there. Oh, wow. And it's in the... Wow. And the pretty borderless frame. That is a beautiful And our rare is Instrument of the Bards. I love that card. I'm using it in the New Xenagos list. Uh, I wish they would have done a different okay. art. I actually needed for the that mimics. emblem. <laughs> so, there you go. I wish they would have done a different art for the mimics, uh, mm -hmm. just because a mimic can literally be everything. Yeah. Um, anyways, I'm lagging behind. No, uh, it's okay. I just opened fast. That's my. Oh, okay. Well, trickster, not the one I need, but the one that's cool. <gasps> Inferno the Star Mouse. We got a mythic. Giant mother trucking son of a butt. Wow. Okay. That yeah. was a lot of. Uh, 
That was a lot of... It's <laughs> a lot of more of a... Of course, Inferno Star Mounts is one of the better Mythics dragons from this set. Can't be countered. Who doesn't love cards that can't be countered? Unpopular opinion. I like this art more than the other one. Uh, I disagree. I like the Borderless one See? more. Yep. Unpopular opinion. There we go. We got an Iron Golem. Hey. I love the showcase cards. Sudden Insight. We got Kalein with some lines on it. Oh, really? So rip. Uh, of course, you know, modern cards having some printing issues, but our rare is Volo. Oh. Guide to Monsters. Hey, uh, there's a... Well, we do, is this video going to be out before we do it? It doesn't matter. There's an episode. There's an episode of, of Head to Head coming up, or Ben out, with Volo, Guide to Monsters. For sure, for sure. We'll be taking our take on Volo. So look out for that. Or you've already watched it, and uh, or excuse me, listen to it, and uh, tell your uh, tell your best gal about it. Um, <coughs> our, of course, our viewers are on <coughs> YouTube right now, so we're still catching up on posting our episodes, but I'm sure when this episode comes out, the Volo podcast will be up on Apple, Spotify, it depends, on how, it depends on how fast your editor works, man. It is true. <gasps> the Evolving Wilds! I'm still Evolving opening over wilds. here in this corner while nobody can see me. I'm so sorry, guys. Holy cow, we are pulling and a cleric it today. Class? We are pulling it today. White Dragon and a Volo! Who doesn't want more Volos? We got two Volos. We are pulling it today. And we, look at that, another Volo. It's just, it's the universe telling us that we need to. I'm going to sleeve your Evolving Wilds. I know we don't need I'm going to sleeve uh, the Claret but, Class because I know uh, it's played a lot. In but uh, who doesn't want to sleeve that Evolving Wilds? Look at that pretty boy. You can have that one now if you don't have it because you gave me your other one when at uh, pre release. Oh, yeah, that's okay. I mean, I, I'll, I'll no throw it in the staple binder. Yeah, exactly. Not that I use Evolving Wilds all that much, but I do love the art. I wish it was played more. Yes, it, it, it definitely should be. Ooh. Now, I know normally people who open don't like to mention it, but it looks like we do have, my guess is an <gasps> uncommon, another uncommon full art dragon. It's a fun fact about Deadly Dispute. We got green dragon, look at that. Green dragon, our rare. How much do you want to guess this card is? Uh, has it gone up? Is it more than a quarter? Two dollars, holy. For a freaking common, dude. Oh, we got a two rare pack. We got a foil Zorn oh. and an Eye of Vecna and a green dragon. Love that green dragon. Probably my favorite of the five dragon arts. But Zorn, oh. definitely good for commander. Useful in those treasure lists. If I don't sleeve that. I'm going to be a little messy. Uh, I need to go through my collection and see how many deadly disputes I have. I had like two and I was like, uh, yes, you're going. You're coming maybe with I need me. To, maybe I need to go through my uh, collection and just, just see how many deadly disputes I have. What am I doing? Let's move this over. Put that there. I got to find some good placement. Fate Here we go. Universal. That pretty owl bear. Uh, do you already have one of those? I do not. Uh, I don't think. Let's hope we pull another one then because I need one in my life. There we go. We got our first creature oh, land. I love that. High one. above the eye tyrant. Uh, folks, I do have the pretty one for it. But. You're gonna learn about me. Uh, I love beholders. Uh, I actually didn't have the chance to go back to uh, my old place of living. <laughs> I don't know what else to say there. What? <laughs> what are you going for, Mikey? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I didn't have a chance to go and grab my uh, miniature uh, beholder that I painted, and it looks really, really cool. It's green. It actually looks like COVID. And I didn't even mean for it to look like great. COVID. Oh, we, we got a wish. wish. Oh, man. I wish this... I wish no this intended. worked better. <laughs> I wish this card was better. Uh, what a great time. What a what a card. I mean, hey, I wish... I will say, though, like... And you're... Uh, we, I've, I've watched a lot of... Um, what's the guy's name from Commander's Quarters? You would know that. Mitch. Mitch. Great guy. I love that guy. Shout out to Mitch. Uh, if you're listening or watching, hey, you know what? You're First off, thank guy. you for watching. Yeah, seriously. Thank <laughs> you for wasting so much time. No, I'm kidding. Uh, but I love that he will always say, like, um, you know, for a lot of cards that aren't commanders, that could be commanders, he's like, you know, always talk to your play group and, you know, see if they will allow it and stuff like that. Wish is one of those cards that, like, I would be okay if someone was playing this and they'd be like, hey, I'm going to wish for, like, these four cards. This random card on my binder. Yeah, yeah like, I mean... one of these four. Like, if they, like, fanned out, like, five cards, they'd be like, these are my wish cards. Like, if I have it then this is what i want yeah i mean you know of course in commander we don't get access to a sideboard which is traditionally what wish is used for um but i think it would be cool if we errated it or you know 100%. as your play group you decided hey you can go get anything you want putting from it into a brand then. a binder how about Pashar, of course, one of those cards in the Dungeons list. We got Targnar. Yes, both of those cards. Did some great. fun for me at, at uh, you and me at pre-release. Uh, you actually, you played the red green at pre-release, if I remember correctly. Yes, I sucked. <laughs> and we've got True Polymorph. Oh, what am I doing? Not sleeving the rare. 
Like I don't know how to play this game or something. Interesting little rare true polymorph. Alright. If you saw everything in that little power right there, hey, good good on you. Oh, Eyes of the Beholder. What a gorgeous card. I need that in foil. I just mind. did an AFR quick draft last night on Arena, so some of these cards are definitely coming back to <laughs> Never me. Neverwinter Dryad. Oh, Null Hunter. Look yeah. at that guy right there. Love the showcase cards, man. Oh, this is one of my favorite. Uh, we get a standard red dragon. This is one of my favorite uh, flavor text of this whole set. It's like, if you're so mighty skilled one, then why are you dead? It's like, oh. In our rare, a Mordekainen. Ooh, and it's the Borderless. Look at that. Boy, the pools are here today. Going right into a Modi. Big. Butts? Big butts, yes. Emoji big butts. What a card. Fun planeswalker. Uh, probably won't be used too, too much in the I got a book of the vile darkness! Oh, okay. Apparently we got a book of the vile <laughs> Dude, great card. Hey, another deadly dispute. Oh, well, there's $2 for you. <laughs> <laughs> Get that manny. Uh, we got an underdark basilisk again. I love this frame. That is a great I think it's frame. really cool. Uh, I cannot wait to see more frame, like showcase cards from the Commander Legends that is coming out later this year. Got a regular green dragon, and our rare is Sorcerer Sorcerers. class. God, these what a good rare. Bonkers today. Of course, really great in your red-blue spell slingy lists. Such a nice sound there. Just, Just wicka, ripping wicka, open them. Wicka wicka what? <laughs> Uh, for the for the watchers, you can't see. We have a small trash can on the table, and it's we, we're doing a couple openings here at once, and it is getting full. It is getting there. Venture into the dungeon. I need Sheshra, Death's Whisper. I got the showcase of that in uh, Lathral. Fun little card. Barrowin. Barrowin. Borrowin. I'm borrowing it. Are you borrowing something? <laughs> <laughs> oh, bullet! I think that's an interesting card. Like. I love cool. the, the showcase art for it. It is pretty cool. Oh, yeah, the showcase is so much better. Uh, you can slow her. I'll wait. I'll stop being the annoying. Dancing one. Sword. An interesting little uh, piece of equipment. Uh, when the creature it's good to dies, you can have it become a 2-1 artifact creature with flying in Ward 1. It's pretty great. Interesting in those uh, equipment, you know, voltron type decks gives you another creature. I'm borrowing it, man. Wizard, Wizard Spellbook. Spellbook. What a fun Golly. card. I... I, I Want to make Wizard Spellbook work at some point? It's just a little expensive. Well, I'm glad I got it again. Going in that team or dice. Do you know what you have to? You do you know what you have to build now? Is that Shoe Lane book <laughs> No, <laughs> I'll stick with Shoe Lane birds. It's more fun. Boyds. Boyds. Again, uh, you know, for the same reason we love Theros, we love this set. Lots of fun commons and uncommons. Everything in this set. Although I'm not a someone who's played. Uh, D and D for a long time. It really just feels like D and D to me when I open this. So we got a barbarian class. Oh, good card. Your teamer dice rolling. Got lurking roper. Interesting little card. You see stalactites <laughs> grow down from the ceiling while stalagmites reach. Ah! <laughs> Wild shape Fun and I rare. Ooh, mind flare. Good card. Interesting little card. I keep. I uh, got one of these in my your rock. Uh, in the Battlefield deck, I have the showcase art of that in there. And we've got a foil air coil elemental, nice and pringly. Yes. All right, we got some good good going on here. Yeah. How did you get through your pack faster than me? Uh, I just, I'm not very good at slow rolling. <laughs> I'm just over here. I like opening the packs. I was going to say, I'm over here struggling. Why have I spent as much money in this game as I have? Uh, the packs. The packs. <laughs> Uh, regular Evolving Wilds. Uh, I do like that art. Wadding Troubadour, one of my favorite arts in the set. Uh, it's so a fun. bard. Heck yeah, give me that. Goblin Morningstar. One me one I I won a couple of games limited with that card. Blue dragon's not too bad. Oh, white. White. Um not to be confused with the color. An actual zombie soldier. To be confused with the color. <laughs> sure. I am already confused now. I've never seen this planes art. I'm so, about it. Sorry. Uh, uh, cool thing about uh, AFR, there are two arts for every, well, just like every set, there's two arts for every uh every land in the set. And what is cool is each of them do have different arts or different uh, text on them. Yes, so and the text each is uh, a little different. The texts are just—I don't even know where they come from, to be personally honest. But I just love them uh, because it's amazing. Soul knife—that's hilarious because this soul knife uh, class is actually a class or a subclass from the rogue class that you can play. That's pretty new. Actually, just came out last year, right before the AFR set came out. Sorry, well, tidbit had to say it because I actually played one not too long ago. There we go. There's your owl bear. Oh yay! I get one. Maybe if you let me. <laughs> if you'll let me. I've got a Bruner Battlehammer. 
portable hole. We got another white dragon. So apparently what our is this? uh it's not blue eyed though. It's only a white dragon. <laughs> oh gosh. It's I'm a little, done. Little I'm shout out. out to the old the old uh shout out to the old Yu-Gi-Oh players no, like me. It's not that one. And our rare is like Werewolf game. Pack Leader. That's a good rare. Good little rare there. Not bad little one there. Of course, very played in standard at the moment. Pixie Guide. Good card. No, Shashra. I, sorry, guys. I'm just over here slowly going through. That worm. worm! Look at that worm! Oh, I love this card. I don't know why, but it's so funny. And my rare. And oh, hey! Werewolf Pack Leader. You wanna, we've been, you wanna sleeve that so we've been sharing guys? some rares this time around. I like that. It's nice. Find some prisoners. Very good card, especially in um, in a prosper style deck with that second exile the top three of target opponent's library. What have I been so doing? I think that card has a little bit of uh, price to it at the moment just we'll because find of out. that ability. Real quick, we got some time. We find what are we finding? We find. You find some prisoners. Some I mean, look at it. It's a, a braid with a small uh, villainous wealth type effect. So right, right. Uh, oh, 26 cents. 26 hey, cents. pretty useful in those Prosper style decks. Hey, if anybody wants a foil version of it, hit us up in the chat. <laughs> Let me know. Post I'll... your trades down in the comments. I, 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 don't, I don't trade. I just give away cards, man. No, we got to post the trades. You know? I don't post trades. No, anyways. All right. We got some more jank coming at you really quickly. Oh, man. The art and Janky these jank. Cards. If I could just rip these cards a new one and just. Mm. Pegasus. There you go. Got the regular owl bear. Hey, I already have that one. Some javelin. I have the foil. Divine version. smite. Divine smite. Target creature planeswalker opponent controls phases out. Wait, wouldn't you want that? Not okay. Anyways, <laughs> slow roll that rare after this portable hole. Oh, good card. A demolish. Yes. There you go. Uh, one of my favorite combos I found out while playing Arena for one time and one time only. Demolish plus sleep equals win game. Yep. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go find out yourself. I'm kidding. I'm not that rude. Demolish is an interesting card. I love that it's a skeleton. Makes right. it more fun. I put it in a certain list that I don't know. About I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Anyways, because uh, we don't talk about commander lists on this show. Planar Ally. Fate's Reversal. I thought that card was going to be good, and it wasn't. It kind of made me sad. Fate's Reversal. Yeah. I mean, I know it's a common, but still, come on, chill out. Oh, this stack over here is getting too hefty for me to handle. Hefty, hefty, hefty. Another Mimic. Wimpy, wimpy, wimpy. Ooh, Bruner. There's the Bruner. Love the showcase, man. Sun and Insight, Magic Missile. And fighter a Fighter Class. class. There yeah. you go. Ooh. Well, I expect a Windfall. I'd check out that. That might be worth a little bit. I mean, yeah. I mean you never know. Yeah. Great, uh, great card for uh, Commander, making those treasures. Expected Windfall. Who doesn't love making some treasures? Uh, 50 yeah. cents for the regular. Who knows what it is for the foil? Yeah, there's no telling. But hey, fifty cents for the regular is not bad for a common. I would just but you know, pitch one, draw two, create two treasures can be useful in a lot of strategies. I played in Torbrand. Uh, I, I like it. It gives me a little extra mana. You know, if I need that extra fifth for something. Hey, a deadly dispute! Yay, another two dollars! Thank you. <laughs> deadly dispute count in the chat. Hundred percent three. All right. I'm actually really surprised. I mean, I know why it's that expensive, but oh, I'm it honestly is, it's not bad. Yeah. Got some. Dice roll one effects, man. I'm just so excited for all the dice rolling. Give me all the dice rolling, especially Yang this new, new big dice. Look at my dice rolling. Mmm. Need that. Slow roll that rare. Mm mm mm. Ooh. Oh, another common. That's not bad. Trellisara. That's not bad. And a Ooh. den of the bug bear. Because I don't have five already. A den of the buggy. <laughs> Good card though. It is a good card. Uh, we've seen it work wonders for me. Uh, in a lot never, of ways. never bad to hit. So we, so look at this. We, we both got a creature land. I got the hive of the eye tyrant in there. Uh, we both got a volo and a and a uh, werewolf pack leader. Yeah. Did we overlap on any other rares? Uh, did you get a cleric? Uh, rares? No. No. But we, it's interesting though. We both got a werewolf pack leader. Yep. We both got a volo. Yep. Interesting. But yeah, guys, that is our opening Adventures of the Forgotten Realms. I think we did both did pretty well in our bundles. What are we trading for? <laughs> what are we trade? Let's trade right now on camera. Hundred percent. What are you going to trade for? Uh, man, I, I uh, you can't have my Inferno. I'm sorry. That's okay. 
<laughs> yeah, I definitely, I'm, you. I'm sorry. I definitely had fun opening up uh, this bundle. Again, this is my first time opening up an AFR bundle. I've only ever opened up uh, set and collector boosters for AFR, but I feel like we both got some pretty cool stuff. Uh, I always like getting the new dice when they come out. I don't, I realize I don't have Crimson Val or Midnight Hunt. Do I have to suffer myself through a Crimson Val bundle or do I just? Dude, I almost picked up a box because I was like, ah, oh, we can do an opening of it. It's the latest set, might as well. Go um, down in the comment section. Let us know if you want to go deep on a Crimson yeah, Val bundle. <laughs> I'll just, I'll give you the preference of it right now. There's an episode. Uh, a couple episodes back, we opened up some packs that I bought on the way over here uh, before we recorded our show and whatnot. You threw one across the room. I threw one across the room because it was just straight trash. But guys, thank you for watching our time with AFR. AFR is a set that we really like. Oh, uh, dude, I love Dungeons and Dragons. It's a set that uh, I think is a ton of fun. It has so much cool stuff for Commander. So, so many cool lore wins. Um, a lot of people of course had some issues with some things not being included, but we get Commander Legends 2 coming out later this year from Baldur's Gate, which we're hoping gets us some more cool D&D uh, &D stuff. But to me, I mean, although my knowledge of D&D &D is not as extensive as yours, Mikey, I, I just, I see the flavor all throughout this set. I see it everywhere and I love it. Uh, before we go, we both we both play, uh, or we have been playing D&D &D now for me, uh, two years now? Yeah, two years. And for you, it's been... Just a few uh, months. Just a few months, almost six months now. Actually, it has been six wow. months now. Yeah, time flies when you're playing uh, magic, magic games. <laughs> <laughs> magic games. Uh, anyways, um, favorite moment. I'm putting you on the spot, I know. I I'll go first, give you some time to think. Uh, I'll probably steal yours, so I'm sorry. Uh, but favorite mo No, I won't. Favorite moment in magic. Or not magic, excuse me. In D&D &D thus far. Uh, like a little, a little story for the, for the viewer of like your favorite little moment since I unfortunately, I mean, fortunately get to be your dungeon master. So uh, we're, we're playing a storyline that's very loosely based on Tarkir, which is a bunch of, bunch of fun for both of us. Um, uh, we have five dragon lords. Now they're monocolored dragon lords as opposed to what we would consider to be two colors like yeah. the original Tarkir. But uh, my, my character uh, definitely was, had some run-ins with the green uh, dragon Callus in the past. So I think my favorite moment was finally meeting Callus in the story, although my creature had met him. My, 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 uh, of course, my, my player character. had cast, yeah. had met him before and had plenty of good and bad things to say about Callus. Uh, I loved getting to see Callus with the party, him and I having a little back and forth, showing our disdain towards each other, <laughs> but also our slight appreciation for each other. Well. And, uh, I hope that in the future I get to put an arrow through his skull, but... <laughs> um, yeah, he's kind of dead, sort of, not really, no. Um, so, my favorite little tidbit of the... Uh, what, what did we even call it? Uh, it was called Quarantine uh, back in the day. I forgot Quarantine. <laughs> because uh, <laughs> it was actually done uh, during the time of COVID, uh, the biggest heights of, to of COVID and whatnot. We all had to do, on uh, do it online. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Uh, we came back. The group has changed since then. Uh, shout out to the old group if you're listening, watching, and all that good stuff. Um, but th a fun little story that has happened uh, recently in this uh, storyline and whatnot. There was a moment where this whole plane, obviously being based off Tarkir, it's it's a magic plane, so you know mana exists and whatnot. And I, I have made it in this world as this kind of like more or less like what the force is in star wars like this just this a deistic type yeah kind of energy yeah. yeah this energy that flows all around it so on and so on uh yada yada and uh, I, I don't know for the life of me i will never in desperation never know in desperation staring down a black and a, a, a legendary like black dragon huge big mamba right in front of them like didn't know if they were going to die or not um, because of just how weird the, this dragon was speaking to them. Now, for the record, up to that point, we didn't have very good run-ins with dragons. So to oh, see the yeah. largest dragon we had seen at that point in front of our face was definitely not going to be a fun fight if it went that way. Like, this dragon caused, like, acid rain every single time it flapped its wings. So let's be serious. Like, it's crazy. Um, anyways, don't know why still, one of my players just looks at me dead in the face. A little background for this player. They do this all the time something like this all the time, looks at me dead in the face and just goes, can I pray to the mana? You said yes, of course. And what did the dice gods give him? Uh, what my dice is currently showing right now, he rolled a d20 on a religion check, 
because why not? I ran with it as fast as I possibly could and like changed up his entire uh, class, gave him a custom class with some not OP spells, some pretty decent spells. He has fun with it though. Uh, he got to meet the main, what the, the, what the party thinks is the main protagonist, uh, or excuse me, antagonist, right? Yeah. Uh, but basically the main character of this whole storyline and everything, uh, and it was just a lot of fun to kind of play that out. I love those moments. I love when I can just kind of like have my players say something very, very just out of left field and me having to stay on my toes and react to it as fast as possible. I think that's where uh, being a DM is a lot of fun. A lot of people hate that because they're like, this is not what I want. I didn't it's plan for this. Yeah, yeah, I didn't plan for this. It's like, that's the best moments when I don't yeah. plan for it. Um, but yeah, fun little times. Uh, I can't wait to, we're going to finish that soon. I'm pretty excited. Did you see that video I sent you? Um, I don't remember. Oh, you're going to have to watch it. I'll have this. to watch it. Well, but, guys, this has been fun. I keep looking at Inferno of the Star Mouse, and I can't believe I freaking pulled that card. Guys, we got more openings coming. Uh, we, in the end of our Theros video, we, we, we gave him a pretty big hint for some stuff to come for more Theros. Theros! Um, we have an opening coming for my one of my favorite planes, Zendikar. We got some Zendikar stuff coming. Yeah, you like that place, I, I, as well as like we I said, uh, Kamigawa. We're gonna be hitting the ground hard, doing some openings for you guys. Uh, we we're really excited to start our YouTube channel for a lot of reasons, but for this mainly to be able to do cool stuff like this, to open up stuff on camera. Uh, we we love our Commander show and we love our podcast and what we get to do. But I really enjoy having another outlet here. I'm hoping to do some deck techs and stuff like that coming up too for you guys, just to show you guys a little bit more fun than just the podcast. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, join our Discord. Don't free. forget. All free. It's all free. All free, baby. Uh, come say hi to us. Come tell us that we're a bunch of scrubby bubbles and we suck at playing this game or creating decks. We'll, we'll love to have conversation with you in any way, form, or fashion. Also, don't forget... When Kamigawa comes out, I'm trying to push this as hard as I can. I want one of you to win a fresh, crisp, right out of the box Kamigawa Collector's Booster, Booster Pack. Oh, it's going to be so sweet. I hope it has. You're going to go into our Discord. You're going to go into the general chat. And what you're going to do is, Mikey, in our, in our Gore Club episode, you picked the word coagulate. Oh, and you, word. as the, the viewer here, uh, have to go into our Discord. Create your own Coagulate card, mana cost, what it is, what it does. You have open reign to choose what you'd like to do. Please keep it at least realistic. Yeah. Uh, don't don't make it like a one mana kill the whole board spell or anything <laughs> crazy like that. A win um, game. But um, take it how you want to take it. Um, now, I just realized if anyone actually makes their own art for this card, like that would be super cool, but we do not expect that. We just expect text. Uh, but we're going to pick our favorites. We're going to throw them in a wheel me, and that person will win. Um, some goodies, and maybe we'll try to plan some goodies for the runner-ups as well. Yeah, for sure. But, uh, um, we're really excited as well during during our opening. That's that's the last day is going to be when we open up our box. We're going to open the box. We have both made a card, and yes. we're going to share our cards as well for what we decided for Coagulate. Um, and it's just going to be a good time. And hey, if no one if no one uh, joins the contest, you guys have no idea how excited I am to show you this card. Like. You have no idea how excited I am. I, 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 this card. I, I really like mine. I think it's a ton of fun. You, you I've tried seen my best it yet, and to. I'm just uh, like, yes. I've tried my best to make a uh, a spell that I think fits the name well, and uh, I mean, there's a lot of ways you could take it, uh, but uh, I tried my best to make it fun, fair, and have a little bit of flavor. You know, it's gonna that. be a lot of fun. But guys, we cannot wait to push as much content as we possibly can for each of your wonderful eyes and wonderful ears to listen to our deck text on our podcast show to watch us do some weird openings and maybe even more into the future. We cannot wait to see where this goes and what we can do with it. We enjoy trying to put a smile on your face with the wonderful game of magic. I know it's annoying, but guess what? This is the format that we all know and love and hate. Later guys. Thank you.